Back. Almost two years ago, we reported on a local restaurant shut down by the state for rats in the kitchen. And since then, that same eatery has accumulated 60 new critical violations, including roach activity and all different types of food ingredients kept at dangerous temperatures. It's tonight's Dirty Dining Repeat Offender. As boats sail by over sparkling waters and pelicans prop up on perches, customers enjoy the view outside the sloppy pelican restaurant on 75th Avenue in St. Pete Beach. I had the uh, seafood Alfredo. And how was it? Um, it was really good, I thought. But conditions in Sloppy Pelican's kitchen have been a little sloppy. In March, inspectors ordered the restaurant to throw out 40 pounds of chicken wings because they were improperly cooled and at dangerous temperatures. They also found batter, margarine, fish, ribs, and chicken all stored above 41 degrees, which could make customers sick. And this restaurant is a repeat offender when it comes to keeping the kitchen up to code. I wasn't here for that. Almost two years ago, we spoke to Ben, the manager on duty, after inspectors shut down the place for rats and rodent droppings in the kitchen. I'd have to talk to them. I'd, like I said, I wasn't You knew here. nothing about it, huh? I just got back two days ago. So we were surprised to see 60 new critical violations accumulated over the last 13 months, including another stop sale last year of 13 pounds worth of hamburger meat, chicken, and seafood because of improper temperatures. And most recently, inspectors found no hot water, employees not washing their hands, and no proof of required employee training. Lauren believes inspectors should not have to step in to keep the kitchen clean. I think the restaurant should be accountable to keeping its customers safe. So we went back to see what restaurant management had to say this time. Is there a manager that we can speak I'm to? I'm the manager. Oh, you are? Nice. You leave nicely. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, we called Sloppy Pelican after our visit to get some kind of response to the recent violations, and they told us no comment. And due to the latest follow-up inspection, the state issued an administrative complaint and fined the restaurant $1,400. To see the inspection reports of this restaurant and other dirty dining stories, head to our website, abcactionnews.com slash dining.